discover the world of art this weekend at the Culture Days in Mississauga. And joining us here today is Bill Hagen, photographer and artiste. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me on the show. It's great to be here. So you're part of Culture Days. Yep. Bonnie, Bonnie you love this guy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> He's a... Uh, He's one of our participants, and uh, yeah, so we'll let Bill tell okay. us all about it. <laughs> now, you're going to be doing, what is it, Photography 101 for people who want to take pictures outside. Yeah, w what we're planning to do, and part of the whole Culture Days thing for me is is one of the, uh, the commonalities between all of Culture of Canada is outdoor activities, uh, landscapes, the scenery, trees, rivers, you know, it's, it's what Southern Ontario is all about, and, and everybody embraces it. So th the course is basically a learning course in the sense of how to take a great outdoor landscape shot. So it's 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 a it's an interactive thing. Um, it's going to be uh, workshops on the Saturday and the Sunday, and and the whole idea is that you come out and you learn the basics of your camera. We go on a little field hike in in around the lake or up Sawmill Creek in behind the Glen Eyre Inn, oh, which yeah. is going to be one of the uh, the open uh, houses as well on Saturday. And then after that, we'll do a little critique and and give some people some pointers. But the whole idea is to have it so that at at the end of the hour and a half, two hours you're gonna have a basic understanding of how your camera makes a great landscape picture mm -hmm. and then you can take that picture and, and maybe put it in put it on your wall in your house later and, and, and blow it up camera or can yeah that's the beauty of what's okay. going on now like the, the small point-and-shoot cameras now um, and point shoots a bad name because it's a wrap people think <laughs> it's, it's an instamatic and it yes. just takes snapshots well a camera now that's you know a, a mid-price camera now is the equivalent of a a photographer's professional camera five really? years ago. So the quality of images you can get with a camera like this, you can blow them up into a photo mural wow. and that. The key is knowing how to use the basic functions of the camera. Yeah. Okay, can you, yeah. what's so, the... so if you're taking a landscape picture, the most important thing to understand is that all the cameras now have an automatic mode for landscape. Um, so you think, oh, I just put it on that and I push the picture mm -hmm. and away I go. The problem with that is landscape mode basically allows your camera to get everything in focus from near to far and that's called depth of field okay. and to do that um, in the old days the Ansel Adams you know the classic pictures in, in Yosemite Park with you know the amazing uh, clarity to the pictures they would actually have the camera lens open for eight nine minutes what? and the camera would have to be perfectly still and that way the amount of light hitting it is hitting it slowly and, mm -hmm. it, and it actually uh, exposes the film Modern day cameras, you don't need to leave them open for eight, nine minutes, but a quarter of a second might be a really good, good exposure time for a, a landscape picture. And you can't physically hold that still for a quarter no of a second. Way. You know, no matter how well you do it, <laughs> you're going to be shaking. So, you know, one of the most important accessories to landscape photography is a tripod. So I brought a tripod with me today and, okay. and lots of different models out there and that. But the most important thing is to get comfortable with it. And, and the, the idea of the tripod is to stabilize it so the camera can be open as long as it wants. Huh. Um, a lot of people would go, well, this is kind of silly. Take a camera, there's a, you know, a digital SLR camera, put it on a tripod, it looks normal. Putting this on a, on a tripod, that looks funny. It doesn't it? It, it looks yeah. kind of hilarious. And if you're standing in the woods and you're taking a picture, people go, what are they doing? But the, the key is to keeping the camera steady and stable. Okay. The other thing is when you're pushing the camera with just pushing the shutter down, actually shakes the camera a little bit and and as we all are getting older and that guess what you're 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 a little more shaky you're not as stable as you were and putting a self timer on there so you just push the button and then hands off and the camera just opens the shutter and closes it automatically again reduces the amount of of, of movement on the camera and it's all about keeping the camera still letting the mm -hmm. camera lens be open as long as it possibly can so you get the best picture possible so if do you, you actually have to sort of lean down and and get the shot and then adjust your tripod accordingly well, how does that work what i what i like to do is 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 sort of walk around myself and look for the picture okay. and, and don't even worry about the tripod yet you know it might be your walking stick or whatever that's mm -hmm. lying on the ground and what i do in in some instances i tell people to start looking at things through the the idea of what it's going to be as a finished product so a camera will give you a tv type picture but in a landscape mode which some of the other pictures that are in the that we've shown th they might be an oblong thing or it might be up and down a picture uh, so start looking at the world through oh, a frame mm -hmm. and th that'll help you now start to do some composition and trying to put together an image and then once you've actually got that image in your mind then you set your tripod up and the idea of a tripod should be flexible enough so that you can have the camera at any angle you can level it off you can turn it sideways you can mm. leave it this way the tripod shouldn't be a hindrance it should be a way just to be an extension of your body and your arms and everything. I can see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> Bill, I, I'm, I would consider myself definitely an amateur right. photographer. What do you think is a, a reasonable? 
price point for, to buy a camera tripod, like as a consumer well, it, going it, it, out there looking for a camera? I, I carry a camera like this around with me all the time. Oh, yeah. Um, it's in my pocket. It's so it's like it's it's like a, someone's cell phone. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it doesn't take up any room. And that a camera like this, you're looking in that sort of 150 to 300 dollar oh, range. This camera goes on. I've had it at the beach underwater. I've dropped it. I've done whatever. Okay. It, the mm -hmm. nice thing about the newer cameras is they're very stable. Okay. And um, the most important thing is again the tripod. So you may buy a tripod that might be a hundred dollars for a tripod, but this is a lifelong investment. You can upgrade mm -hmm. your camera. The tripod, if you buy a reasonable one to start with, is going to last forever. Okay, okay. that's reasonable. Now, let's say you've set up your shot. Mm -hmm. You know, you're looking at the world through a frame. You got the shot. You're like, oh, this looks great. You set your camera up on your tripod. What about the exposure, the lighting exposure? Do I worry about any of that? Well, it, it's, it's interesting that the light during the day, th there's three variables in taking pictures. There's the time of the year, okay. the season, the weather, and the time of day. So time of day, early morning, you're gonna get lots of softer light, Midday, you get the, it's more harsh. The light is, is um, straight down. And end of day, you're getting the warmer colors, the, the sunset colors. But even if there's not a sunset, you're getting those colors. Can we describe the, maybe the lighting in the picture that's just behind you with all the nice greenery? Oh, th that was an early morning shot. You okay. can see in the back of it, there's um, uh, sort of a misty sort of thing. And what happens is in the morning, you're getting a lot softer light. Okay. Um, people think if the sun comes up and the mm -hmm. sun goes down, it's the same light at the morning as it is in the evening, and it isn't. It's a slightly different. Mm -hmm. um, the same thing with the weather. If, if the weather's overcast, you're going to get less shadows, and you're going to get more popping of the color okay. uh, than you would on a bright sunny day. Clouds are great because they're in and out. You can play with the idea that sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's not sunny. Right. And then the last thing um, is, is the time of year. Obviously... Like the one underneath. That's like more of a fall photo. Yeah, exactly. And, and again, you're getting different colors in, in, in the environment and, and the leaves are changing. We've got yeah. another week and a half and then the leaves are going to start changing. Everybody's going to be out there taking pictures again. And this is a nice thing that yeah. Culture Days is happening this weekend because I was out yesterday and the leaves are just starting to change. So we get a couple more cold days in Mississauga okay. and it's going to be a I just want to check out a couple of other photos before we go. Okay. So maybe you can um, explain to us how you've composited everything and, and what you were looking at. So let's see if we could grab one photo before we go. And of course, it's all happening this weekend, and you're excited for that and prepping everything. First photos in. Take First photo. Take. Here we go. Here it is. Okay, this is a shot actually uh, in the Meadowvale Paths in behind my house. I've, I live in the Meadowvale area. Seconds, this right. is uh, a small path that runs between the schools, and That's I've taken gorgeous. shots of this in winter, spring, and summer. And this was an early, an early spring shot. Uh, again, early in the morning, you've got the, the mist of the fog, the colors seconds. coming through, and you've got some awesome stuff going on in the sense of, with composition, you're always looking to tell a story with the picture. Oh, nice. So a nice pathway. Later. Here's the same, exact same path in the winter. Totally different picture, and you can see the sun rise in the morning. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Wow. Thank you so much. I can't wait Thanks to for learn more me. this weekend at Culture Days. So check Bill out. That's billhagan.ca. And again, it's Photography 101. I learned so much. Thank you. Didn't you, Bonnie? Thank yeah, you very much. absolutely. Thank after you. this, we have Tim, and he's just released his new album, and he's going to perform with his band right after this, so don't go anywhere.